So I've got a question for the audience uh, in the theater and on the live stream. What do you think it means as far as Facebook's plans? Do you think we're going to see uh, a Facebook VR come out soon? Or, or what do you think that will look like? You should have a cricket's uh, chirping sound effect. <laughs> I've been ch I was checking out videos. I think we have our sound effects, though. You know, nobody here can say definitively whether this will affect control or, you know, uh, Oculus's ability to kind of navigate their own ship. So, you know, the, my hope is least is is that they're going to retain all those aspects and uh, you know this is just going to give them wings and then when you look at like ps3 and sony it's like there's never been any ads on playstation and then you know if facebook bought oculus now people are saying oh like ads are going to come on here why not go to sony morpheus you know but i think you know you have to deal with ads for to an extent and uh as long as they control it and they, we have you know more vr than ads obviously i think uh you know um this you know people will be happy with it i think it, the backlash is not going to continue for a long time but uh you know uh, I, I trust palmer so the problem is that it, this sets a precedent going into the future that unfortunately it has nothing to do with following the money of the people who are willing to take part in the use of the object and the community, it has only to do with the idea of whoever is the highest bidder can control the future of a piece of technology. Hopefully there will be a, a, an alternative for us. Uh, I see no reason why we couldn't have a way to build our own technology just like this, having learned the lessons we have from the Oculus and from several of us who have modded our Oculus there can be another. I like how people complain about ads and whatnot, but if they were to take off their favorite show, like The Walking Dead, they'd really want those ads back quick. Exactly, you know? It just enables the content people want to see. I mean, really, the trade-off's not that bad. We're just totally spoiled as consumers these days. Like, there's so much high-quality uh, content out there, and people just kind of lose respect, I think, for, you know, the people behind it and, you know, the effort that it takes into producing it. Absolutely. Absolutely correct. Spot on, homie. I mean, you want to see spoiled and entitled. I mean, just look at those forums. People, you know, thinking that they have a vested interest in Oculus because they bought a development kit. kit and they can dictate who buys it and who does what with it. Uh, too many people adopt this whole corporations are bad, big corporations are evil, that kind of thing. And they see Facebook as that. And they immediately attach Oculus VR to that. They, they forget everything they've done in the past, all the work he's done. Uh, it's a little sad. I'm sorry if I'm talking about it. But none of you guys mad that they did this after doing the dev kit 2 sales? I mean, is that not so shaky? I bet you 99.9% .9 of people don't back out of the uh, rift because of this. Is there any way that I can get my lightsaber back? <laughs> You can probably go into a different room. Yeah, but that's boring. There's not cute girls in the other rooms. Oh, man, you you anyway. hands slash us when we're trying to speak. There's one in here? Where? Where? Oh, how nice of you to call me cute. <laughs> what exactly is shady about them selling the dev kit? We buy it, we get the product that we wanted, and they make a deal. I, I don't understand the shadiness of that. I guess the shadiness comes in that you... No, 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 there's nothing shady about them selling it and then us That's buying the into it and then them getting acquired. It, it's the shadiness I think that people are talking about is the sort of, oh, they're not going to announce something that would be detrimental news to the DK2 sales. It, it has nothing else to do with the rest of it. Just that's what was being spoken about. Well, yeah, in the meantime, DK2 though, it's, still it's something that is hitting, yeah, but it's something that's hitting us as the core sort of users 
pretty hard because, I mean, it's there's no easier way to say it. It's Facebook. They have a closed existing system. I don't want to be a part of that walled garden in any way whatsoever. Apple would have been way better than Facebook. EA would have been better than Facebook. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to give I mean, you that. Apple fair, probably would have been better than Facebook. You can't seriously stand by that Facebook would be better than Apple. That, that just that blows my mind. Have any of you read Palmer's responses already? No, I haven't heard them. Yeah, I read them. Uh, long story short, it was kind of a PR response. Um, he said it's a good thing. He started VR with a vision and a dream. He wants to keep going with that dream. Uh, the last thing he said sort of put me at ease. He said, uh, you know, we're not going to let you down. So no employees are going to leave. Everything's going to go as usual. It's just Facebook owns them now. And, you know, if people don't want to be attached to Facebook, they don't believe in that company, ask for your refund and go about your way. But, I mean, don't attack the guys who are building the technology for you. Well, no one here can say that they're not ex excited for Farmville and Oculus Rift. I think we can Oh, my that. God. <laughs> Can't wait. No, but, I mean, you know, sort of touching on that, uh, what about this whole metaverse thing or whatever people are talking about? Who doesn't want that? Who didn't want this kind of thing right here that we're doing? I think, exactly. yeah, come up I, think, like I think Facebook's I think Facebook's going to try to give that to us. I think that's their interest. And I think it's going to happen a lot sooner now. I mean, i got to be honest, you know. I think uh, today the future got a little bit closer because of this. I mean, we're talking about billions of dollars now. You know, not 70 million, not 2 million on Kickstarter. And uh, money funds everything these days, you know. Yeah, this cemented Oculus as a player. Like, done deal. Yep, and VR, for sure. Okay, I have a question. Hear me out on this. Doesn't it, wouldn't it be hard for a company to stand alone like Oculus and sell a VR peripheral where your consumer base has to have a good computer um, as opposed to Sony, which has a unit and then sells a peripheral that's an add-on? They already have the consumer base there. With Oculus, I know there are a lot of computer players, but you have to have content for Oculus Rift, which means you'd have to have game developers developing full games for the computer for VR. Which they've had for a long time. I think Sony's going to have more of a problem with, uh, with the software. Who, who, besides Eve, what's a game company that's developing VR specifically? Uh, Sony's going to have to make it very easy. Well, Sony's yeah. on x 6 architecture now, so it's a lot easier to port games over. Yeah, you know, I kind of respect Sony with uh, doing some new tech and stuff. I mean, they did okay with 3D. You know, I was a big fan of the uh, old school 3D stuff, so... Um, Sony's one of the ones that, you know, kind of impressed me in a lot of their movies and stuff, even though... 3D is kind of a joke now. Now it's all about VR. Morpheus was sort of a just like a prototype showing. I don't know, like maybe it was just me, but I thought they just showed face. And the hey, problem with thinking that the future supposedly cemented today because that that somehow this is the best possible of two denies the fact that there are more options for the future. Isn't uh, there are better ways to approach what is happening? And I believe that using these two billion dollars and the acquisition by Facebook as a way to push quickly virtual reality when it could be just as easy to take its time, do it correctly, not have a sort of leap for no reason, except for to make to have a user base or acquisition for acquisition's sake is wrong. There are yeah, better think, ways, uh, easier ways, and at the end of the day, more profound ways to make virtual reality work than acquisition by Facebook for quick money to make it good real fast. But I there's think that's no what everybody wants, though, you know? There's more money. Uh, there are more options than just Yes, we can have VR fast, and it can be attached to Facebook, or 
we have to wait for it to be not as good when it can be just as good. You know, I mean, I think we're living in a world where everybody wants everything right now. And, uh, you know, I feel that in the VR community, you know, more than anywhere, we, we just want the metaverse now. So, I mean, I don't think it, uh, I think getting things done as quickly as possible is, you know, a goal of everybody that's involved, you know? And, uh, Fervor was dying just before Crystal Cove came out. What was that? Fervor, uh, interest in, in VR and stuff, the whole hype was dying at a few points throughout this entire process. And things came out that hyped it back up. Crystal Cove, the DK2, uh, Eve Valkyrie. This? I, I think that's going to be the cycle. I mean, they put out the DK1, and uh, that kind of died down, you know? And then you even hear Palmer saying, you know, that's not the experience we want. I mean, he was kind of playing it down in a you know, talking crap about it towards the end, just because he want he knows the next part of the cycle is going to come up really soon. But I mean, I think that's how the whole thing's going to go the whole time. You know, we're going to have, you know, the excitement, and then it's going to level off, and then it's going to be exciting again because it'll be the new version or whatever. You know, sorry, it's definitely a factor that they're going to have 500 million people to advertisement just for the advertising alone. It's actually quite a powerful platform to be used on. I'm just trying to think of some positives at the moment because there's so many negatives going through my mind. But that is a really a very powerful name to have. It's a very powerful voice to be in the community. I mean, it's huge, you know. I mean, there's so many. I mean, we think VR was big, but, like, today, you know, all these people hear about it that had no clue what it was before. I mean, that's why today was so big. It's like, you know, I mean, there's a ton of people that have no idea you know, about VR. Even my girlfriend has no idea, and I tell her every day, you know, it's like, well, not every day, but... My girlfriend probably wishes she didn't hear about VR. I make her listen and watch all of our shows and stuff. Uh, Revere, good to see you here. You're making the uh, jump from the live stream in here. Good on you. Pleasure to be here with you guys. So I wonder if Zuckerberg's read, like, Snow Crash or Ready Player One. That's a good question. Oh, everybody, everybody, be on best behavior. Facebook Public Relations has joined us. <laughs> oh, he's been found out and he has to beat feet. <laughs> Here's a question I'd like to bring up. A lot of the bet, a lot of the reaction to, or the comment that people say is, uh, "Oh, they're going to make us log in with Facebook for everything." Is that a bad thing? Having a conjoint, having a joined login across all of VR, that we can be the same person in all of the different VR experiences that we enter. We don't have to. We can just log into Steam. I don't know. I think they're kind of different platforms because when you look at it, Steam, when you go there, you, you do have some indie games, but you have all the you know the big blockbuster games there, and and it seems to me like Facebook, when you go there to game, it, it's it's more like you know the the simple uh, web, web enabled type games. So I think they're I think they're different in that Facebook, those those type of games, it's going to be in the future. You know, it'll be people go there to play like more more mobile stuff. I have the question from the live stream uh, VR fanboy 37 wants us to discuss if we think developers will jump ship out of gatekeeping fears any thoughts on that uh, yes it's already happening but again that's their decision to do that I think the majority of developers will jump into it um, because of the exposure uh, the advertisements like they they can't buy that anywhere else not now. Yeah, I mean, what developer doesn't want to have an app store that is going to immediately have millions of people in it? I mean, I think there's going to be a rush to this. What, what it's kind of hard to believe they would actually do a walled garden effect. I, I can't believe they actually do it. It's hardware, and if they try to force people to use a certain platform and not use anything else like Steam, then you would come across, uh, it would seriously stop their expansion into the marketplace. I can't believe they would shoot the golden, they shoot the goose that lays the golden egg. They could block official channels of using the hardware in the ways they didn't expect. 
uh, how many jailbroken phones are there out in the world? Exactly. People will do it even if it's not officially supported to do so. I think it'd be really cool if like the Unity developers would just, you know, maybe get together now and like come up with some sort of standard that we could connect the games at some point. You know, at least the ones doing multiplayer stuff. After I had my knee-jerk reaction, which I'm sure everyone does, of what the hell, um, I thought, you know, uh, this being the next level of social interaction is good. Facebook is social reaction. People say things that they've done, you react to them. Social interaction like this, where we're all doing here. This is, as they say, this is the next level. This is what it could become. Just got a uh, very tough question from Pimp Slappington. Uh, he wants to know how indie developers, especially in the social field, like VR Chat and I guess us, are affected by the acquisition. You know, I'm just more excited. I mean, sorry, I still don't know how to feel. But the more people that are there to play and purchase, you know, if that if that's an option, the better. I mean, for everybody, we just want more games, more uh, more apps to play, and uh, more multiplayer stuff. So, you know, I mean, the whole thing's exciting. So, if there's more people looking, then better. <laughs> um, didn't Oculus want to build a platform, not just hardware? They were willing to sell it with Share. Yeah, um, I read that Luki, uh, he said that uh, they were willing to sell the uh, wrist at a loss someday. He just wanted it uh, in people's hands as much as possible. You can tell from uh, you know Palmer's response there, saying that he was more or less courted by Zuckerberg. They s they shared the exact same vision for VR. I mean, I don't think Palmer is going to just jump into bed with anyone. You know, I, I think he had to pick the right person to see his vision. Yeah, I could see Sony selling uh, the Morpheus at a loss. I mean, they'll make something back through software sales, but Oculus? Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of the way to go now, huh? The sell, sell at a loss. Well, yeah, yeah, but Sony sells at a loss at the beginning, but overall, you know, after a few years, they start making tons of money on the consoles and the hardware. I think Facebook is just going to help them, or, you know, build the platform, sell games themselves. That's what EA would have done. People can publish their games wherever they want. My biggest fear of the acquisition was uh, that they were going to fire all the Oculus guys and it was going to be like Farmville VR. And to be honest, I think that's a lot of what this knee jerk reaction is. It's like, oh my god, it's the end of Oculus, it's the end of creativity, and blah, blah, blah. But it's not. No one is going anywhere. Everyone needs to calm down. Palmer's still going to work on it. Carmack's still going to work on it. And they're going to deliver a good experience. I have a feeling that Palmer won't be able to get away with doing uh, such crazy things at um, chat places, though. <laughs> I have deep, deep doubts. My fears. My fears. Well... Zuckerberg's not even wearing most time, as far as I can tell. Palmer's wearing sandals and t-shirt under suit jacket and stuff. That's the young, eccentric character who's like the figurehead of Oculus as it is. I'm sure Zuckerberg doesn't care. That's actually clause 47B in the contract that sandals remain. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's it's hilarious watching this, how we've all kind of naturally just formed into this semi-circle like we kind of would if we were actually all chatting together in a group. <laughs> I think I did not notice that. that. It's true. I think we all secretly want to share the stage. Well, if we're sitting up in the audience, we can't see who's talking behind us. Hmm, we need a consumer. I'd like to bring up that this meeting really speaks of what VR means. There, I mean, there's a lot of people freaking out on the forums, which is, uh, like Facebook, reactive. Um, and then the idea here, let's meet up and talk in VR about the future of VR being, effect being affected by this news. That's a good point. I mean, we're, we're not reducing ourselves to, like, short little sound bites. We're actually able to articulate thoughts and... I mean, you'd 
know, there's, you know, oftentimes a lot of nuance to a point somebody's trying to make. I don't think there's many people that are so eloquent that, you know, can get everything across, you know, brevity is wit. But here we're able to kind of get uh, more engaged and actually get closer and closer to understanding what each other's actually trying to say. Very interesting. What's very interesting is you don't see the knee-jerk reactions here in this chat. It's like when people speak, they realize, okay, what I'm saying is going to actually not be that intelligent. So perhaps I should slow down and think about that. You know, I also wonder if, if there's an element of it that, you know, because we're represented by something that approaches more of a human form, you know, it, it's not so much as an abstraction where you're anonymous on Reddit or whatever, that you actually you know care more about what you're saying and you try to craft it a little bit more than you you would if you're just able to kind of fire off you know uh just random thoughts and you know vile things like that oh for sure which is why i'm a little bit afraid of uh, that whole thing of signing into facebook to do vr uh i think that's dangerous i think that would segment the market i think the hardcore gamers would say the hell with that the social gamers who want farmville vr they would jump on it Personally, I think like a, a Reddit-like model is the best way to go, where you can have somebody who's verified as legit, so you can't uh, troll and you know assume other people's identities. But you also have the option to be anonymous if you want. Totally. Going back to your point of the hardcore gamers not wanting to have a, an identity bound to them. With the uh, consoles, with the Xbox and the PlayStation, there are gamer profiles. With Steam, there's gamer profiles. That is your identity, which is shared across them, which is no different from being Facebook, except perhaps it's not joined, um, unless you wish it to, to your real-life identity. Very true. Um, that's a good point. Um, but I just I think back to when Steam started out. I mean, we all remember that. When Half-Life 2 came out, they said you have to download Steam and install it. And there was a litany of hate towards Steam. Uh, I think we'll get that from Facebook. Maybe uh, it'll wash away after a while. You know, Facebook now people love Steam. With this whole thing of the, the download manager's discussion, I mean, look at the um, reaction to the Xbox One. And Valve had a bad reaction being the first, but they weathered through it and they knew what they had was right. And they did right by the customers. I mean, that competition was hard box retail, sure. But they started out with their own games, and they were showing their own games, and then they brought others in alongside with them. And then you look at it now, uh, winter and summer sales are death to my wallet. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Spent like 800 bucks last year. Yeah, but another reason gamers like them is you can buy like a game that normally you would buy for 40 bucks or something on like a $4 sale, you know? And I love that about Steam. Yeah, I mean, there's so much stuff out now that you can just uh, wait, you know, for a game that you think's really cool, you can just wait a year and it'll be half price. But, sorry, I, I wandered from my original point there. While there was that and how they did so well, um, despite that, um, other than hard box, you know, brick and mortar stores, they didn't have a large competition there blocking their way. Um, Morpheus comes in and I bet guys at Oculus got pretty scared of that. I mean, even though it is stuck only to the PlayStation and there are the other smaller ones which they weren't so scared there, they were like, okay, equal competition, all good there. But you bring in a Goliath like Sony with something like that, um, despite their history of poor HMDs, uh, I'm sure all of the littler companies got a bit scared by that, and it's possible how this um, Oculus Facebook thing came about, um, them trying to get some muscle behind them. Oh, yeah. People got to think about that, that ch business chess game that is going on. Like, Oculus had to make a move. Like, look, how, many, how many VR headsets came out at GDC? Wasn't there, like, three or four? Wasn't that Archeon guy? He, didn't he post, like, 800 different VR headsets or something? <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta say, you know, like a, oh, no. I don't Facebook, but it is a little, <laughs> it's a little disconcerting. Came out at GDC, wasn't there like three? Oh, is that video playing? I, I was trying to pause. I just see it. It's kind of funny seeing these people come out with like Facebook Oculus stuff as it comes out on YouTube. So let's see what this one's about. <laughs> 